Hi kids, my name is Nicole Miyuki and this is Let's Make Art and I have a special guest with me today. Hi, my name is Lizzie and um, um, I'm going to paint with Nicole. We're going to have so much fun. And, oh, and how old are you? Um, six. You're six. So, together we are going to paint actually what's on your cover of your zine if you have this. So you are here, I want to tell you really quickly, you're here for a special bonus project where we are going to paint a postcard for someone. So if you go, if you have our box, if you go find the postcard that looks like this, it's blank, it is about this big. Does that help? Yeah. <laughs> Does that help? It's not a big sheet of paper, it's a smaller sheet of paper. What if you held it up and said it's about this big? It's about this big. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so grab that. Then you are going to flip to the last page and and also if you are watching this and you don't have this or you don't have this box, I still would love for you to paint this with us. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint a globe and then add some fun rainbow to it today. Yep. Yep. Okay. So you're probably asking, what are we doing this for? This is called Let's Make Art Matter. So Let's Make Art Matter is our special thing that we do as a company to thank other people in our lives. And so Ruby and I today are going to be painting for our mailman. Mm -hmm. And so the mailman is someone who delivers packages to your door. So even if, Ruby, have you seen your mail person? Um, yeah. You have? That's awesome. So if you haven't seen your mail person, then know that they're the people who deliver packages to your door. So they might do it at maybe when you're sleeping. They're the ones that deliver those to make sure that they're there safely. So we want to thank them because they're working so hard for all of us all around the world. So we're going to paint this postcard to give to them. Now, when you have your card, Grab out your different supplies. So we're going to be using our crayons. So Ruby and I have our crayons set. And then we're going to be using our watercolors. So the first step is that we are going to, I did this earlier, we're going to create an outline. So we're going to do that in crayon first. And Ruby did hers. So you can paint an outline, you can color, or you can color it with crayons. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to color it with watercolors. So those are the steps that we're going to be doing here today. Okay. Oh. And before we get started, we have a motto that here at Let's Make Art we do together. So can you raise your right hand? Oh, other hand? Oh, that one works too. Yeah, that one. So then we can high five? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so raise your right hand and then repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am, brave. I am kind. I am, I am kind. kind. I am creative. I am and I'm creative. Good job! So we like to do that so that we are just all starting together. We remember that we are brave and creative or we're going to make something together. And also, do you mind coming in here? Oh dear. If you hear Keenan's voice in the back, I just want to introduce you to our camera guy. This is Keenan, the silly guy you might hear. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> just wanted you to know we're all here together painting. So this is just a fun time. Okay. So we are going to start with the first step. So when you have your globe, we are going to start with the water. So we're going to start with the outline. So do you want to grab your blue? I already have blue. Nice. Perfect. So blue and green. So what we're going to do is the first step is we are going to draw a circle in the middle with our blue. So that's our water. It could be any size. Nice. And then we are going to draw the land. So this is something that, think of this as blobs. They're just, they're, it's, it's what we're walking on. We're walking on land. So you can draw them any shape. So what you can do is I'm gonna start over here. So maybe start in the corner right here. And then just kind of draw a little blob over here. And then curl back around. Yeah. And then do you want to, maybe we'll come all the way down. So we're gonna come down to the edge. And just come down like that. Yeah. You did it. Good job. That was nice. so good. And then I think what we're going to do is, so we're going to paint a little bit of water right here. So maybe do you want to draw a line from up here, like right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then come down. And then come to the bottom. Just touch the bottom. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to draw two more blobs. So let's draw one up here in the corner. 
So just draw a little, like a half moon. Yes. And then we'll start over here on the side and then come across and then come down. Then we're gonna touch down over here. Yes. Nice. Good job. Okay, so we drew our land. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the sun rays. So Ruby and I are going to do them in the rainbow colors. And Ru Ruby, you were telling me you know your rainbows, right? Mm -hmm. What are they? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Nice, yes. Good job. Good job. Okay, so do you wanna start with, we'll start with red? Mm -hmm. And then what we're each gonna do is we're gonna draw a line and then go all the way to the edge. So that is going to be our outline. So we're doing that. So then we're gonna go in the rainbow order. So leave a little bit of space between, yeah. And then draw coming around your globe. Nice, that's helpful. I'm gonna do what Ruby does too. Nice rotate. Yeah, good idea, Ruby. So we're drawing our lines. So think of this as the rainbow that's squirting out of your globe. What's next? Oh, you're on it. So then we're gonna start all over with the colors. Good job. So we're just leaving a little bit of space because we are going to color inside of those spaces. And if you skip a color, that is all Good, this is your own, so you can make this any color that you want. I love it. Such beautiful sun rays. Blue. Ooh, I like how yours are curls. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Okay, now we are going to do our watercolors. So when you're doing your watercolors, we're, is it okay if we share a palette? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put our palette in the center. Ruby and I have our brush. Let me get your water next to you. So you're gonna want your palette and then a cup of water right next to you. Now, we have three different colors that we are starting with. We have Magenta. Oh, do you want to do it with me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that may help. So we're going to do the color swatches. Yeah. So we have magenta, and then you're going to clean your brush. Mine mm. turned pink. Yeah. And then let's pick up a little bit of yellow. That looks like orange. It is kind of, I know it does kind of, but when it paints, it's kind of, yeah. And then we're going to clean our brush. Mine is like a peach color. So pretty. It's changing the color of your water. And then we're going to dip in. And we're going to do blue. So those are the three different colors that you're starting with. Okay. But guess what? Even though you only have three colors, we can make so many more colors. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint the other colors of the rainbow. So what I'm going to show you is if you have our zine, if you flip through towards the middle, there is a color wheel. So I'm gonna show you how we can mix three more colors. Can you show me? Yeah. Um, yellow and blue make green. Yeah. Um, pink and yellow make orange. Um, blue and pink make purple. Yeah. Nice. Good job. So we're going to do that together. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take our watercolors and you will see that you only need a few drops. Do you wanna do it? Okay, so can you do one drop of magenta there? Nice, that's perfect. And then a few drops of yellow. Maybe, how about, oh, inside of there. Let's do three drops. Perfect, okay. Now do you wanna mix that together? Yeah. Let's see what we got. Ooh, dark it's like Ooh, a it's red. red. Pretty. We made red. We made red. Do you want to paint a swatch on here and do that? Yeah. Oh, we made red. 
So if we can I show you a trick. So I'm going to pick up some of this color and put it right here. And then can you add more yellow right there? Yeah. So you can squeeze a few more drops of yellow. Okay. One, two, two, three. Perfect. And then mix that together and see what we got. Mm. Yeah! Peaches orange. Ooh, Ooh yes. yummy. Peaches orange. That's true. That's a good name. Can you paint that on here now? So we'll see what we got. Yeah! Good job! So now we made orange. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing. Let's keep spinning our wheel. So what do we got? We're going to mix yellow and blue. Blue. Wait, let me green. Yeah! Ooh, cute. Ooh, do you want to do that swatch? Let's do it. Ooh, that's a beautiful color. That is a pretty green color. So we're going to leave that there. And then I'm going to add some blue for us here. And I'm going to spin our wheel. And then can you do use this mm -hmm. and do one drop of blue right there? Or you can put it in the pink side. Oh, yeah, do you want to do it? Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave that there so then we can do that. So we're going to make a whole new color. Yeah. And then one of those or maybe two. Mm -hmm. Maybe two. Yeah. Good job. And then I let's. That's okay. Ooh, look at that. Purple. Beautiful. What do we got here? Purple. Yeah. That's a dark blue. Ooh, that's a really. That is like a dark blue. Do you want it to be more purple or do you like that color? Purple. Okay. So what we're going to do is. Can I s let's see. What, I'm going to leave that color because I think it's a really pretty color. Yeah. But I'm just going to pick up some of it and make put it over here. And then maybe do you want to add one more magenta? Mm -hmm. So we're just mixing up different. Oh, yeah, you can do that too. Oh, we made purple. Yeah. See how it's really slight, but it made it more purple. Ooh, yeah, we pretty. made all different kinds of colors. Good job. Yes. Okay. I think we're ready to paint. You think so? Let's do this. Okay. Now that we have all of our colors, you can pick any color that you want when you're doing this. So, you have a couple different options. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, do you wanna grab your paintbrush? Clean it off. You can use this water, since that one's a little dark. Yeah, so you're gonna clean it off. Yeah, tip it off to the side. So I'm gonna start. Mom teaching me that. I love that she taught you that, that's so good. Okay, let's start with red. Red or magenta, one of these. What's that one? That one's red? Okay, we're gonna start with that. So dip in there, and then you can start, do you wanna start right there? Mm-hmm. Perfect, so we're gonna paint this whole section, or this area, red. Yeah, like this. Yeah. And then, yeah, wash off your brush, and we're gonna move to the next color on the our color wheel. Peaches orange. Peaches orange, so do you mm -hmm. wanna color it right next to it? Yeah. So we're just painting in. So you're filling in the section, you're bringing it to life. This looks like yellow. It's like a mixture. Mm -hmm. Clean our brush. Tap it off to the side like Ruby's doing. And then what's next? Um, yellow. Yellow. They don't look the same. Yeah, they're just a little, because you made so many different colors, right? Mm -hmm. And what's pretty is that if they blend, they might make some different colors like that. Yeah, like red and orange. What does red and orange make? Red and orange makes like a, a red orange. Yeah, and red and green make brown. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's true. Yeah, because my mom told me that. That is really good. So what Ruby's saying is if, if you look at your color wheel, if you mix kind of a color that's opposite of it, it'll make brown. Mm -hmm. Which is okay. Brown, brown's a great color. Yeah, it is. Brown is the color of land, too. And Actually. chocolate. And I, <laughs> We did that a different... Good job. Okay, I got a... Green. Do green. It's a teal. It's green. Yeah. It is. Then what's after that? Oh, um, I know there's another blue because we have two blues. And um, there's indigo. Oh, yes. We didn't really, we kind of, this is kind of, maybe, this is like a dark navy. Yeah. 
So which one do you want to do next? Um, this the blue. blue. Okay. First, and then the other blue, and then purple. Perfect. What if like we started with pink instead of red? We can do that. We can add pink right there. Whoa! Look at yours. All of our different colors are changing, or our water is changing colors. Yeah, Lola, did, we did that once, and we didn't paint. And that was four, I think. Oh. oh, that was a good year. <laughs> Back when we were four. <laughs> so we're picking up another color. I'm going to try to be careful because I don't want to get paint on a table. Oh, it's okay. Oh, this paint, yeah. this table is for paint. Oh. But yeah. that's very kind of you. Where's the purple? I think it's that one. Remember we mixed it in the middle? Ruby, do you want to pull your painting to your left so we can see it a little better? Here. Other left. Other. Here. Yeah. There you go. Is that good or up? A little higher. Okay, can I move it up just a tad yeah. when you're done? You can finish that swatch. Yeah. Okay. And then we keep going. Yeah, and then we keep going. Oh yeah, we keep going. We got plenty of time. We keep going. Just keep painting. Just keep painting. I love it. Lovely. That looks so pretty. Okay. Now what, what oops, I'm going to turn mine around. We're going, yours is good. We're going to paint the water. Do you want to paint the water first? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to use, you can either, do you want to use crayons or do you want to use watercolors? No, watercolors. Okay. So you can use either one. You can either use your watercolors, you can use your crayons. And I'm going to dip in and we're going to paint, yeah, in the outside. So this is the land part. So I'm going to paint the water part right now. And then the teal dish would look good on there. Yeah, I agree. I got paint Ooh, on me. That's okay. Purple. I got paint on me. Wait, this is really purple. Like when you all mix them together, I don't, I don't know what it makes. And we can test it out. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, that like made that kind of purple. That's pretty, because it mixed more purple and pink. Okay, more blue. Ooh, this blue is, what kind of blue is this? It's like a, it's called Tahoe blue. Oh, I it's see. It's a lake. I see a Tahoe blue. It said yeah. Tahoe blue. I can read. You can. That's because I'm in first grade. You are so old. You're a big kid. Mm-hmm. Do you have a job? No. Not yet. Can you drive? No. What? But I know how to drive. Are you going to move out of your parents' house soon? or? No. Oh. <laughs> I just know how to drive when I'm a kid. Oh, nice. I just, um, and um, when we were in a shopping cart, they had like a little driving thing. Oh. And, I, and you have to do this and then turn. To steer? Yeah. Yeah, that's how I know to turn because I saw my mom and dad do it. Nice. Good job. Okay, you are, oh, and then we're both going to paint this one section right here. Green. That's actually the water right there. I know. That part. So I'm going to paint mine. You don't have to. Yes. It's kind of hard to paint with that. It's okay. That looks so good. Hey. So we're both getting green, and then... That's, that's kind of like a tail. Oh, right it there. does. It just blends all together. Nicole, will yes. you pull your painting down and to the right? Yes. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to make my... We kind of lost a little bit of our green. I'm going to make a little bit more green. So to add green, it's yellow and blue. No! Oh, yeah. <laughs> It just, it's okay. We all, I sometimes forget too. 
So I'm going to paint Mom, my... How do you make yellow? You, we have yellow. But how, oh. That's the magic part. Yeah. And that's a primary color. Yeah. I did orange. Is that orange? Yeah. Mm, wait, that's yellow. Here's that's like yellow. Oh, is this okay, Keenan? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to paint Look at mine. this. You did so good. I love all the color. It almost uh, looks like it's spinning. Like it's throwing the rainbow. <laughs> and rainbows are my favorite. Oh, that's so convenient. It looks so good. Okay, we are, we're done. Yeah. Except we need to let it dry. So what we're going to do, Ruby and I are going to let it dry. And then what you can do also Th after this. This already dry. Oh, yeah. Can you want to show them? This is um, my other one that I did. Nice. It's so pretty. So she used all crayons for that one. And then what we're going to do, Ruby, is when, we're, when this one dries, we're going to flip it over. And on the back, we're going to write our note to our mailman. We can say, if you have our magazine, let's see, what did I put? You can say, dear mailman, thank you for delivering our mail all around the world. Yeah. From Ruby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we can do that. So once this is dry, wait, I can it. make a line in like that. Yeah, do you want to do that? Yeah. For the deer? Mm -hmm. How do you make deer? A oh, D. E. E. A. 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 I thought that was R. R. Deer. Mm -hmm. Do you want to put mailman? Yeah, like in a line. How you write mailman? M. A. Wait, Mr. Mailman. Oh, oh. Mr. Mailman. That's true. <laughs> M. M. R. And then a dot. And then M. A. I. L. M. You can squeeze it in. A. You can put it right below it if you want. A. Oh yeah, that works. A N. There we go. Do you want to put Mr. Mailman? Do you want to put thank you? Thank you. T H. I kind of messed up on them S's. Because watch. That's that's a great S. Wait, I'm doing it. But I used to do it like, hey, why am I doing it like this? I can't erase it. That's okay. It says thanks. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I just wrote thanks. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I didn't even know how to write thanks, but I wrote it. Do you want to write, and then you want to write love a heart, Ruby? Yeah. You can do it off to the side somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so. This is what we would like you to do is write on the back like Ruby did and then think of this is that everyone else who is watching this, we all together are going to be giving this to our mail carrier. So we're all together coming together to spread joy through art. Now, if you don't see your mail carrier, you can either tape it to your mailbox and so he'll see it or he or she will see it when he gets there or where you get your package delivered. Maybe you just leave it on top of there so they'll see it. Or trying to think, what's our other ideas? Or, or put it on his hat. <laughs> oh, you can do that. If you see him. <laughs> Attach put it to on a his... cup of lemonade. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a good idea. Or write a note on the um, cup. Yeah? Yeah, write a note on the cup. That is so sweet. So there are so many different ways you can do it. And if you if you don't have a specific person, maybe you can go to the mail. The, I guess it's UPS here or your mail carrier, and you can deliver it to them directly. So again, this is just our way to say thank you. We believe that it's so important to see people and thank them for, for what they do for us because we are so thankful that they deliver all our packages every single day. So we hope you had Here. so much fun painting. Good job. So we're going to do this. We'll give that to your sentence. mom and then we'll do it. You did write a whole sentence. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I right here, Mr. That's the mister. 
And then Mrs. Yeah, we can do a Mrs. too. Yeah. We can do that online. Yeah. Or your other one. Or on your crown one since that one's starting to dry. We can do that too. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. Can we say bye to, the, bye to everyone? Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye. bye.